Cardiac arrhythmias can be classified by site of origin. Sinus rhythms originate from the sinoatrial node, or SA node. Atrial rhythms originate from the atria. Ventricular rhythms originate from the ventricles. Sinus rhythm is the normal rhythm of the heart set by its natural pacemaker in the SA node. In a healthy heart, the SA node fires 60 to 100 times per minute, resulting in the normal heart rate of 60 to 100 beats per minute. The most common variations of the sinus rhythm include sinus brachycardia, when the SA node fires less than 60 times per minute, resulting in a slower heart rate of less than 60 beats per minute, and sinus tachycardia, when the SA node fires more than 100 times per minute, generating a faster heart rate of greater than 100 beats per minute. Sinus bradycardia and sinus tachycardia may be normal or clinical, depending on the underlying cause. For example, sinus bradycardia is considered normal during sleep, and sinus tachycardia may be normal during physical exercises. Cardiac arrhythmias that originate from other parts of the atria are always clinical. The most common include atrial flutter, atrial fibrillation, and AV nodal reentrant tachycardia. These are forms of supraventricular tachycardia, or SVT. Atrial flutter, or A flutter, is caused by an electrical impulse that travels around in a localized, self perpetuating loop, most commonly located in the right atrium. This is called a re-entrant pathway. For each cycle around the loop, there is one contraction of the atria. The atrial rate is regular and rapid, between 250 and 400 beats per minute. The ventricular rate, or heart rate, however, is slower, thanks to the refractory properties of the AV node. The AV node blocks part of atrial impulses from reaching the ventricles. In this example, only one out of every three atrial impulses makes its way to the ventricles. The ventricular rate is therefore three times slower than the atrial rate. Ventricular rate in A flutter is usually regular, but can also be irregular. On an ECG, atrial flutter is characterized by absence of normal P wave. Instead, flutter waves, or F waves, are present in sawtooth patterns. Atrial fibrillation, or AFib, is caused by multiple electrical impulses that are initiated randomly from many ectopic sites in and around the atria, commonly near the roots of pulmonary veins. These unsynchronized, chaotic electrical signals cause the atria to quiver or fibrillate rather than contract. The atrial rate during AFib can be extremely high, but most of the electrical impulses do not pass through the AV node to the ventricles, again thanks to the refractory properties of the AV node. Those that do come through are irregular. Ventricular rate or heart rate is therefore irregular and can range from slow, less than 60, to rapid, more than 100 beats per minute. On an ECG, AFib is characterized by absence of P waves and irregular, narrow QRS complexes. The baseline may appear undulating or totally flat depending on the number of ectopic sites in the atria. In general, larger number of ectopic sites results in a flatter baseline. AV nodal reentrant tachycardia, or AVNRT, is caused by a small reentrant pathway that involves directly the AV node. Every time the impulse passes through the AV node, it is transmitted down to the ventricles. The atrial rate and ventricular rate are therefore identical. Heart rate is regular and fast, ranging from 150 to 250 beats per minute.
Ventricular rhythms are the most dangerous. In fact, they are called lethal rhythms. Ventricular tachycardia, or VTAC, is most commonly caused by a single, strong firing site or circuit in one of the ventricles. It usually occurs in people with structural heart problems, such as scarring from a previous heart attack or abnormalities in heart muscles. Impulses starting in the ventricles produce ventricular premature beats that are regular and fast, ranging from 100 to 250 beats per minute. On an ECG, VTAC is characterized by wide and bizarre-looking QRS complexes. P-wave is absent. VTAC may occur in short episodes of less than 30 seconds and cause no or few symptoms. Sustained VTAC lasting for more than 30 seconds requires immediate treatment to prevent cardiac arrest. Ventricular tachycardia may also progress into ventricular fibrillation. Ventricular fibrillation, or V-fib, is caused by multiple weak ectopic sites in the ventricles. These unsynchronized electrical signals cause the ventricles to fibrillate rather than contract. The heart pumps little or no blood. V-fib can quickly lead to cardiac arrest. V-fib ECG is characterized by irregular random waveforms of varying amplitude with no identifiable P-wave, QRS complex, or T-wave. Amplitude decreases with time from initial coarse V-fib to fine V-fib and ultimately flat line. Quiz time.
Are you a fan of Alila Medical videos? If so, you will love our new Alila Academy. Based entirely on our highly effective animated mini lectures, our courses are designed to follow a typical syllabus in each subject. Each topic is extensively illustrated and comes with quizzes to test your understanding, downloadable PDFs for a quick review, as well as images for you to use in school projects or presentations. We are known for producing highly effective animated videos that explain the most difficult concepts in record time. We have no doubt that our courses will be a lifesaver for both students and teachers alike. So do come check them out. Alila Academy. Clear, concise, effective, with extensive visual resource. No one explains like Alila does.